Victoria decided on her next travel nursing location. I don't think we saw this one coming. A thousand miles, 23 hours of driving, and eight states. Guess what I found on the open bed of the truck. Now that we realize that RVs are allowed on the beach, Y'all are not going to believe this. Victoria decided on her next travel nursing location, and I got to tell you, I don't think we saw this one coming. No, but it did check all the boxes, including money and uh, weather. We are desperate to not be cold anymore, so you ready to find out where we're headed? We're going back to Yuma, Arizona. <laughs> Last time we were talking about this, I was applying to some jobs in Florida, and well, Obviously, those fell through, and so did the one in Las Cruces and Albuquerque, and I think it was for a couple of reasons. Everything was really slow this time around. I think it's because everyone is short-staffed, including the recruiters, hospital, HR, and uh, people were just getting it, getting to it before I did, so. And like we said before, this is the longest I've ever been off without a job, and definitely not on purpose. I was getting a little nervous. A lot of restless. <laughs> and then I saw that Yuma popped up, and uh, I knew that I knew people there, and I actually loved it in Yuma, so I figured, why not? Look, honestly, we never thought we'd be back in Yuma, Arizona. It was 118 degrees here the day that we left in June of last year. Yeah, but we're, we're not going to be there that late this time. Yeah, that's good news. <laughs> if we're being honest, it took a little bit of convincing on his part because, you know, we like to keep things moving and see new places. But then I convinced him that we may have left some unfinished business there. It's true. We actually loved the state of Arizona, and there's a lot of places we didn't get to. Grand Canyon, Tucson, Bisbee. We want to get into the southern parts of Utah, Bryce Canyon, parts of California. There's a lot of stuff to see here. Once we made the decision, though, I mean, you have to admit, we both are kind of excited. Yeah, actually, really excited. Yeah, we knew we'd have an RV park to stay at with the river right behind us. We can throw our paddle boards in. Which we really enjoyed last year, you know, and the whole RV park situation has been an issue while finding a travel nursing job and... Yeah. We knew old Gene would have one for us. And also, it was 85 degrees in Yuma on the map when I signed. Yeah, we're so tired of being cold, and it was like the only warm place on the national weather map when we looked, and we were like, okay, we're going back to the desert. Yeah, I mean, because it snowed three times in Charlotte recently, and like, that's unheard of. Yeah, but I'm done with the cold. The only downside I really see is that we have to drive back across the country. Yeah, but unlike last time when we did it in five days, which was horrible. We were on a deadline. Uh, we have two weeks this time. So hopefully we're going to find some fun adventures on the way back to Arizona. Yeah, we're actually taking a route that we haven't taken before. Yeah, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Come on.
miles, 23 hours of driving, and eight states. Man, that was rough, but we beelined it straight here. Just so we can have a little bit more time at our current location. We are just outside of Corpus Christi. Port Aransas? I think Siri said our, our, our rants. Port I'm pretty sure we've mispronounced it every time we've tried to pronounce it. Port A. Mustang Island is technically the island that we're on. Uh, and we're here at Pioneer RV Park. We've got a few days to spend before Victoria gets started on the new contract in Yuma. And it's about another 13, 14, 15 hours to get there. We've been in cold weather for so long on fun employment. We've done the mountain thing. It was cold in Charlotte. We just needed salt water and sunshine. And we got it. Now it's time to explore. We got here late last night and we have no idea what the beach even looks like. Today's actually the warmest day it's gonna be while we're here. So we're gonna get out and enjoy it. And they actually are all gone from the beach so far. We and Oreo get a little outside time. Pop the play time. All right, so we're gonna go check out the beach and uh, y'all can come along with us. So I had to postpone beach time a little bit because I forgot my phone back at the RV. Uh, but Thomas was giving me the hardest time about forgetting my phone. Well, guess what I found on the open bed of the truck? Yeah, Thomas' phone. Just sitting right there. He can't even call me to tell me to get his phone, so. <laughs> I think I'm gonna milk this for all it's worth. I have to apologize. got the black pair in Virginia Beach, but when we yeah. were down in Mexico, we got white and light blue. Yeah, so, so we now, have three pairs. Now pretty much on the <laughs> Costco guy. Okay. I'm love just going to own it. Why not? I think this might be the first time that they have seen the beach since we've been on the road. No, oh, San Diego. San Diego. Well, this is San Diego. It's been too long, girl. It has been too long. My little beach baby. Well, look at that. Driving the big gas truck on the beach. This may seem normal to some of y'all out there, but uh, I haven't personally seen a lot of beaches that you can drive on. It's kind of exciting. Here's the weather in poor day is a little unpredictable. Yeah, yesterday we were in bathing suits and today we're in jackets. It got cold, y'all. Thankfully, we got to enjoy the warm weather while we had it. We were out on the beach and having fun, but today we're just checking out poor day and seeing what it has to offer. And shout out to our neighbors, Kevin and Eileen, in the RV spot across from us who tracked us down on their golf cart after we left our tailgate open 
going to the beach. But they did give us a nice suggestion. Yeah, they were actually on their way to the bar. It's Port A Beer Hut. Apparently, it's got swings. Yeah, don't know what that means. And you can also drive your golf cart through and get a drink. It's a drive through so sounds kind of cool. First lesson we've learned, cash only. Thankfully, they have an ATM. So our time at Pioneer RV Park has come to an end. However, now that we realize that RVs are allowed on the beach, we're gonna spend the night out there. Might as well. But before we go, time for the Project RV Camp Grand Review. Boop. So Pioneer RV Park has quite a few spots and it seems to be very popular. This place is huge. Mm -hmm. It has a good mixture of people who stay here for the summer, full timers, and just people who are visiting for the weekend. A lot of snowbirds, we are actually here on a holiday weekend. So which we didn't even realize. Interesting mix. Um, we happened to get an RV spot, which according to the front desk lady was uh, very improbable. Yeah, she told us to buy a lottery ticket. So it's one of those situations where not planning worked out to our benefit. Somehow. <laughs> it's got a lovely community center. They're actually building a second. It's got laundry. It's got pools. It's got access to the beach. All the good stuff. And I believe we paid $60 a night here. I think that's about right. And then you can add an extra $3 a day for cable because their Wi-Fi is not great. Not bueno. Hey, but you got beach access, so. I love this place. It's awesome. All right, let's pack this thing up and get to the beach. Let's do it. Hey, man, hey, thank you for that bar suggestion. That was pretty cool. Well, right on. Yeah, man, appreciate y'all. Yep. Have a good one. Good yeah, and always, man, she loves that. Oreo to the beach we go you ready it's a shame we just gave you a bath yesterday <laughs> jeez oh, well. okay about to get out onto the beach and we've done some research a little bit of scouting this morning to see like basically what area of the beach would be a good spot and I think we figured it out yeah, I'm actually a little nervous about this because, I mean, we weigh quite a bit, but we scouted it out and there's a lot of big rigs out there and I just did all the research I could and I feel a little bit better about it. Yeah, now. I mean, we saw rigs our size and we saw rigs much bigger class A's, so we should be all right. All right, family, what do you think? Is this a spot? Yeah. Uh, I think Barley, yes? I can't really tell. Is that a yes? Is that a no? I'm excited. <laughs> Can you believe that the beach is literally right outside our front door? Our sad, pathetic attempt at trying to keep sand out of the RV. Ahoy there, matey! Arr. Belt sander racing is a big thing in Texas. A huge thing. Everything you need to know about RV camping on the beach here in Port A. Get your pens ready, because it's kind of a lot of information. We like to be prepared sometimes.